What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Rich, and I'm back to talk about another Croatian match, this time in the UEFA Nations League, the second edition, where they played at home to Sweden. They picked up a 2-1 win. And this is no surprise, because when Croatia play at home, they win games. They win games. They win matches that they would actually lose on the road. They win games at home. That's the point. When they played Spain and they lost, what, 6-0? They went back to Croatia and beat them 3-2. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're a whole different animal when they're at home. I don't know if they get homesick or something, but when they're home, oh my God, they're just a whole nother team. So, 2-1 win, Croatia pick up their first set of points in the second edition of the UEFA Nations League. After losing both away matches to France and Portugal. And it, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. But when they're at home, it's all nice. It's lavish. It's very, very beautiful football when they play at home. Especially at the Maximir. And we had a repeat again in a 2-1 win against Sweden. Saw goals from Nikola Vlasic early on in the game around the 30th minute or so. And even though Sweden fought themselves back into the game with an equalizer from the veteran Marcus Berg, Croatia worked their magic and substitute Andre Kamaric, who has been in absolutely tremendous form, put Croatia in the lead again. So 2-1 win. 2-1 win. What a, um, what a game. It was a good game. It was a good game. It, it was kind of strange to me because... This is the first time I've been watching football for a week. The last match I saw was Liverpool's 7-2 loss to Aston Villa. And if there's any Liverpool fans watching this, this is no reminder of the 7-2 loss. That's just me letting you guys know the last football game I saw. I was actually on a sabbatical. I was on a little break from the whole football, you know what I'm saying? I was just playing FIFA. And this game reminded me of myself in FIFA because... Croatia had a lot of chances. They could have scored a lot more goals, but they scraped themselves over the finish line and in a game where they should have won a bit more comfortably. You know what I mean? But three points is three points. The fans ain't going to complain. The players ain't going to complain. And Zlatko Dalic sure ain't going to complain. And myself as a, you know person who has been following the Croatian national team for the last two years. It's crazy that two years has, has gone by so fast since Croatia lost to France in the World Cup final, four goals to two. I've been actually talking about every single competitive game that Croatia has played since then, which is insane, you know, but I, I, I just have to because I have a lot of Croatian subscribers, so I have to come out and actually talk about the match. But it's actually nice to see some new faces in the team. It's nice to see that Zlatko Dalic has found some guys who could actually play in the fullback positions and not play in centre-backs really in that position. Even though the guys in that position could play as centre-backs, but the guys in Filip Urimovic and Dario Melniak, they look a bit more settled in that position, to be honest. And they did a great job, especially... Urimovic, who plays for Ruben Kazan. I think he plays for Ruben Kazan. And he has been um, in pretty good form. He has been pretty, pretty good for the national team as well. So look, look, look. We all expected a win or a draw from Croatia at home. But Sweden, there are no pushovers at all. But they didn't show up in the first half at all. It was all Croatia. Livakovic and the goal hardly had anything to do. But they came out. They came out in the second half and they troubled. They really troubled. The goalkeeper pulled off a few big saves. Fair, fair enough. Fair play to him. Croatia could have scored more, but they didn't. They didn't take their chances. And they, 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 they left a, a loophole. For Sweden to come back into the game and they did the pressure it was telling and Croatia's defense it cracked because these guys walked the ball into the back of the net remind myself remind me of 
when I play FIFA 2, how, you know, they walk the ball into the back of my net. So, good goal. Good goal by Marcus Berg. Very, very good goal. But Dejan Kulisevsky, 20-year-old Juventus player, he was on fire. He was their best player on the day, in my opinion. Emil Forsberg looked good. But still, Sweden couldn't keep off Croatia. Luka Modric, man, what a player. What a player. Influential again in the win. Shout out to Luka Modric. The Croatian team looks a much better outfit with him in there. Ivan Perisic as well. Very, very influential in the game. Involving the build-up to the first goal. And set up the second one. Josip Brekalo. What a player. He has been on fire. Involving the first goal. Nikola Vlasic. It's really, really good to see young Croatian talent coming through. With the fact that Ivan Rakitic retired, Mario Mandzukic retired, and you know a few other players moved on. You know Charluca and Strinic and these guys, Subasic and these guys move on. It's nice to see that they have found suitable replacements for the one that's left. So no rubbish in the team. No rubbish in the team. I don't know if he's injured, but. The guys in the setup look like they're ready to take Croatia forward to the Euro in 2021 and to the World Cup in 2022. Definitely. Brozovic, who picked up a second yellow in this game, would be unavailable against France, and that would be a big blow for Croatia. Kovacic picked up a yellow. You know, he was kind of tentative throughout the game, but not a solid game from Mateo Kovacic. Lovren in the back alongside Duye Chaleta Saw. Solid on the day, despite Lovren almost giving away a penalty there with that handball. But you can't give a handball for that. He fell. He knew nothing about it. But it was a solid game, nevertheless. Croatia played with no forwards today because Kramaric, well, no striker, no natural striker, I should say, because Kramaric had a, a little injury, couldn't start, not fit enough to start, but he did come off the bench to great effect. And he saw young Domagai Braderich, the man who plays for Lille, getting his first competitive um, run out. Didn't see much of him when he came out, came on. And Mario Pasolic was the other substitute along with Kramaric. Good performance by Croatia. Good performance. It's nice to see. Young talent coming through. I saw they have a new goalkeeper as well in Gerbic, who is now signed to Atletico Madrid. So, looking good. Looking good. To be honest, I like that. I like that. I like that. I was kind of nervous for Croatia that they would have dropped points in the game. But they fought back well in the end. They created a lot of chances. And they showed their resilience at home and picked up a very, very important win. Hard luck to Sweden, man. They play Portugal on the road in their next game. Three losses and three. Not good. Croatia picking up their first three points in the group. Trying not to get relegated for the second time. Remember they did get relegated for the first edition. But because of UEFA and the, the fraudulence, they revamped the tournament after just one edition. And Croatia actually was spared. But... That's what it is. It's what it is. You know, I can't change that. But good result. Good result. They need to perform better on the road. When they play the return leg in Sweden, they need a better result. It's not going to be easy against France and Portugal at home. Those teams are no joke. But you guys should have faith in Croatia that they should be able to pick up at least two points from those results. From those um, fixtures, I should say, and survive. Because it ain't looking good for Sweden at all. But guys, this is just my quick thoughts. I think Croatia would be alright. The players in the setup just need to keep their heads on and continue working hard to develop. Brekalo look good. As I said, Vlasic, Perisic would be around. You know, and there's a few other guys still around, you know what I mean? I know Pasolic. Kramaric, all these guys are looking really good. Kovacic would have a be around for a while. You know what I'm saying? I even saw that Milan Bedell, he had a start in the in the in the in the um, friendly against Switzerland that Croatia won as well. So think it's looking good. It's looking good. You know what I'm saying? 
But guys, I'm my boy Dominic Rich. Just quick thoughts on the game. Just had to get back into the swing of things. And you don't have to come out for every Croatian game. So guys, make sure you share the video with a friend. Like it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad. Hvatska. <laughs>